my name is Maribeth Sanchez. Um, my, I'm married to Izzy Sanchez. Uh, I have an 11 year old daughter named Kiani. We have um, five children, three beautiful um, daughters, and two amazing sons. Five grandchildren, one who passed away of SIDS um, in 2014. Well, when I was um, growing up, I was raised Catholic. When I was three years old, um, I was baptized through the Catholic Church. Um, we re didn't really go to church often. We used to only go for like Easter and just Easter, I guess. Um, the God I knew back then and growing up was um, like a punishing God, like always looking down on us. Nothing you ever did was enough. I never felt like it was enough. We, um, we started going to the Catholic church at first because it's what we knew growing up or whatever. We had gone there for like a few months and then when one day Sally, my stepdaughter, came over and she told us about Skyline Church. And she um, had mentioned, you know, that we should, we should try it out and check it out or whatever. And I told her, we told her, yeah, we would, but we like didn't. And then a few weeks later, she came and told us that she was gonna be doing the baby dedication for Amy. And um, so we were set to go. And a few days after that, um, Amy passed away. So um, after that, we did go to Skyline. We checked it out. We used to go to Skyline first, and then we used to zoom out of Skyline and go over to the Catholic Church. I mean, after a few weeks, um, we decided to just strictly go to Skyline. As we got more comfortable with Skyline and started getting involved in the Easter egg hunt, it felt more at home. So we decided to just stick to Skyline and we stopped going to the Catholic Church. I had signed up for Life Group and um, in the Life Group I met some amazing women that helped each other, encouraged each other listened, you know, when any, when somebody was going through something, they would give them advice based on the Bible. And um, they kept talking about growth catalyst and how, what a great tool that was. And so I signed up for growth catalyst. That's where I truly um, learned what the grace of God was. I remember sitting with Desi and Sharon one day and how they were explaining to me how God wanted to give me this gift, the gift of grace. And um, like, I, I didn't understand what the word was. I, it, I, it didn't make, like, what is grace? And um, I remember Desi giving me the cup of, uh, showing me a cup of juice and a cup of water. And she told me, see this cup of water, that's God's righteousness. Uh, you know that's the grace that he wants to give you and it's up to you to to take it he wants to give you this gift but if you don't take it you know you have to be willing to take it you have to accept it from him and um, he'll take your sin from you which is the cup of juice he wants to trade you for that and it's up to you to take it and I remember like for a few days I was thinking about it and I'm like why would he want to like, I, I didn't deserve it, but then it, it hit me, I'm like, wow, he loves me that much that he wants to give me this. All I have to do is, you know, give him my sin. And, and I, I remember talking to him one day and I'm like, you know what, God, I wanna, I, I want it. I want to follow you. And I told him, I'm like, this is what I did. These are the things that I've done in my life. Here, take it from me. and. I want to follow you. So it's like, okay, I want to get baptized. I want to follow what you're saying, but I'm not following what you're saying. You know, Izzy and I were not married. We were living together. We had an 11 year old daughter and that, that was the one thing holding me back from getting baptized. Because of things that, that, things that we had gone through in our relationship, you know, we, we had hit a lot, of, a lot of bumps in the road and, um, the point that I completely lost his trust so I knew I had to 
work on that, you know. So I prayed, I prayed a lot, and I, I knew I just, to, to be patient. And when he was ready, when he, you know, when he was ready to, to make the commitment and he trusted me enough to, that he would ask. And it's crazy because right when, like, I was already like, you know what? We're never going to get married. <laughs> the day he asked me to marry him, he had met with Pastor Chris. And um, I felt like they were in our house in the basement talking for a few hours. And I was like, you know, is Pastor Chris telling him, like, we can't be together anymore because we're not married? Like, we have to separate until we decide to get married. So when Pastor Chris left that day, I, I Izzy called Kiani downstairs and I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna tell her, you know, mom and dad have to separate because they're not married. And I'm like, so then he called me downstairs. He had her, he had Kiani come get me. He told me, he's like, you know, I was talking to Pastor Chris and the way he was saying it, it sounded like, uh oh, like we have to like, leave each other. And, but he finally, he's like, I want to get married next month. <laughs> so we had 30 days, what, 30 days to plan the wedding. It was like way beyond what I could have expected. Almost everybody that we invited ended up coming. And like everyone we invited were people that we really wanted in our wedding. We wanted to feel the love in the room and that's exactly what we felt that day. Like when I walked in, I'm like, from beginning to end, I felt like it was so perfect. Where did you have that wedding? At Skyline, <laughs> at New Church. <laughs> Growing up, we moved around so much that I always felt like an outcast. I always felt alone, you know, like I didn't have anybody to talk to. And so that's something that I've always struggled with. Always, I always feel like, you know, I'm alone. And now I don't feel like that anymore. I always feel like God, instead of being above me, watching me, you know, pointing down at me, I always feel like he's next to me and I can talk to him. And I don't feel alone.